Hello Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising and welcome to the April 2022 Tower Readings with me. If you are new to my channel, dear Pisces, please do subscribe. So let's get started to see how is this happening month happening for us Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. Well, it starts with an energy of conflict. As you can see, my dear Pisces, this energy, these swords are here to announce a bit of conflict. So in the first week, we need to be careful because the Pisces are going to be provoked. There is going to be some kind of rivalry, conflict and opposition to whatever you want to say you want to do. All right. So you will be met with opposition in the first week. It can also be that simply um, Pisces is just losing their patience <laughs> and uh, they are nicely giving the person in front a piece of their mind. After the piece of cake in March, we are going to give them a piece of mind. So this can happen in the first week. It can happen in your um, personal life, in your professional life. It can also be that some of you are feeling a bit anxious. Uh, you know, we as Pisces absorb a lot of energies. The global energies are so heavily charged at the moment. So what happens is that we are like sponges. We absorb that energy. And then, you know, it's like a child. When a child is tired, what does a child do? The baby starts crying. Yeah, so this is how we behave also. When we are charged with too much of that tiredness that we are absorbing from the whatever the happenings are around us, then what happens is that we get tired and then it exhibits or it rather is demonstrated like uh, you know tantrums or anger can come out or some kind of harsh words or you know sarcastic remarks can be thrown by you towards some close people so just be careful because loved ones don't need that treatment because at the at the same time when we are not fine we go to our loved ones right and then when we hurt them where are we supposed to go? <laughs> yes, so this is what is the, the the fix over here. So just be very, just be very kind with your loved ones. Don't hurt them in the first week, no matter what those energies are. Uh, but I'm seeing some kind of conflicting energies that are rising up for you, my dear uh, Pisces, in the first week. So just be careful about that. All right, my dear Pisces. And also I would like to say is that... Um, Try to meditate more this month, especially you have to meditate more because as I'm seeing the energies, these energies tell me that Pisces need to really, really meditate because this month is not going to be easy for anyone. All right. It's not going to be easy on a global level, especially. So we need to prepare as spiritual beings. We need to prepare ourselves for whatever is coming. And this is where uh, we need to be able to handle things. All right, my dear Pisces. And to handle things, Pisces have to spend time praying, meditating, walking in the nature, getting, you know, their resource or recharged through nature. So do that, my dear Pisces. This is what I would like to say in the first week because some of you also can face some kind of administrative, uh, you know, problems or blockages in your papers. Also, this also can come in the first week. So just be careful and try not to get into, you know, any kind of conflicts because everybody is on the edge. <laughs> this is what it is. So the moment you are going to say something, they are also the same touchy edgy. So they are also going to, you know, give it back to you. So this kind of thing will go on and we don't want that. It's already in the air. So we don't want it in our houses. We don't want it with our loved ones. We don't want it with our friends. We don't want it with the people we interact on a daily basis. All right. So just keep that in mind. Just be wise, my dear Pisces. And just, you know, return to the silence inside of you. All right. Then we go to the second week. And the second week is about getting some kind of good news. Also, I'm seeing that uh, maybe you were expecting some kind of news to come, so, but there is some kind of positive news that is coming your way in the second week. There also can be uh, some 
um, people, rather some guests that arrive at your place, like surprise visitors uh, you might have uh, in the second week of April or you are entertaining someone uh, after a long time, somebody is visiting you. So maybe for a lunch or a dinner during this week, you are meeting some people who you haven't met for very long. They can be people who ha you haven't seen for months together or years together and in the second week my dear Pisces you are doing that either it's you who is going and traveling to meet them or they are coming to your place my dear uh, Pisces and I also see for some of the Pisces the second week is about planning a travel this is what I'm seeing some of you might plan a short distance travel but I see more the energies of long distance travel being plan at this point of time there will be a lot of movement in the second week uh, my dear Pisces this is what I'm seeing you'll be you know you'll be just short distance travels long distance travel there's a lot of travel energies happening or inside of you some of you will be just traveling to places you know through uh, like when we sleep our soul travels right so you are going to do those kind of soul travels also a lot in the second week and mind you, my dear Pisces, is that when you do these kind of soul travels, just be careful, protect yourself because Pisces is one sign that travels a lot. All right. Uh, there's soul travels a lot. There's astral travels and things like that happen a lot in the Pisces lives. So in the second week, I would like to tell you is that whenever you go to sleep, um, just try to protect yourself uh, by saying a protective prayer. OK, because sometimes you can land into places where you don't want to be. And then you will absorb even more, um, you know, charged energies. So you need to take care of that, my dear Pisces. Um, I would like to give an example is that for me from last uh, November, October, November, you know, I was just getting dreams, you know. Uh, first of all, I was just getting dreams of a lot of troops, you know, coming in gray color troops I was seeing. I was not understanding what are these kind of troops that I'm seeing. And then afterwards, I... Uh, was almost my soul was traveling there and I was not seeing people but then I was going through that place and I was just seeing all the troops and they were getting ready for something and I was not understanding that at that time and I see a man and he starts saying you're not from here where are you from and then he starts to follow and actually it was me who my soul had already traveled there on the borders where the war has now happening and there I saw one person who was following me and I was so tired afterwards after I woke up because my soul had to come back to my body and then when I wake up it was so tiring so tiring because I had landed into this place where something was about to come and this is what I said in my prediction video also if you have not uh, watched it please do watch it because it is and you know I was forced to make this video by the divine to in order to tell you all what's coming so for the 2022 that prediction video i would like you all to watch it please because in that before that only i had seen all this so that soul had traveled my soul had traveled to see a lot of things that were about to come all right and so i would like to say my dear Pisces, we are intuitive beings and you know what when you sleep you will have the tendency to travel also many of you might even not realize my dear Pisces souls you will not realize that you are traveling somewhere so i would like to tell you is that just say a protective prayer so that afterwards it doesn't affect your well-being my dear pisces okay so in the second week likewise some of you will do those soul travels astral travels but some of you will take your vehicle and you will you know visit places this is what is also seeing and some people are coming to you also all in all, I see a socially rich week for you, the second week, my dear Pisces, and um, some kind of surprises, pleasant surprises are on the way also for you. Money-wise, you are going to do pretty well. You will be able to manage your budget well. Uh, I would like to say, I mean, I'm not seeing like, wow, a lot of money coming in, but the flow is going on and you will manage your budget well in the second week. And then we are going to the third week. Well, the third week, you need to take care of stress, uh, my dear Pisces, because uh, as I said, again, the global energy is affecting Pisces. I'm taking more time with you all because I know you are the ones who are going to be more affected this month. So I need to tell you how to handle it at the same time Then I am giving you the prediction because some of you might say, 
but you know we want the predictions and don't speak about this don't speak about that but i really feel i have to tell you that my dear ones even if you are not patient with me for this month's reading you have to be patient with me because i need to get you prepared right so in the third week my dear pisces there will be some kind of stress that you are absorbing there can be lot of misunderstanding and miscommunication in third week whatever you are saying whatever they are hearing and whatever they are interpreting is all going to be on a different level all right you might say something they are going to listen to something else and then they are going to pass it on as something else so you need to be careful in the third week of what you speak how you speak your anger has to be controlled your reactions have to be control in the third week my dear pisces because uh, this is the time when you can almost break a very good relationship um, just because you don't know how to react at that point of time in the third week you might be so reactive so reactive that your closest relationship can get broken okay so you you really need to take care uh, my dear pisces in the third weeks because i see a lot of miscommunication over here some people are going to say something and you're going to be so touchy that you're going to take it as uh, you know like a kind of a direct attack upon you a personal attack and uh, then you are going to distance some people and i would like to say that some people who are really toxic who don't value you who don't value the time that you are giving to them they don't need to be anywhere close to you my dear pisces because what happens is that we have that tendency that we give okay we will give lot of time we keep everything aside and then we listen to people's stories right uh, we are always the shoulder to cry on because we intuitively understand people and sometimes we ourselves even if people don't say anything we'll say are you feeling this is everything okay and then we will ask them to open up and usually with pisces people open up very very easily with you also it's going to happen in the third week and after you have given all the time after you have cried for them after you have helped them out afterwards they will be ungrateful to you and that will hurt you a lot and in the third week all these kind of past hurts are going to come up all right so you need to be very very careful my dear pisces and i would really like to say sometimes you know in order to respect yourselves you need to put boundaries putting boundaries doesn't mean that you're being unkind my dear sweet pisces yeah it just means that you respect yourself and the people who are reacting just because you're putting those boundaries are the ones who are actually benefiting from that because otherwise you are taken for granted and then once you just put a full stop saying no you can't take me for granted anymore it is like this i am going to be like this henceforth it's like equal give and take it's not just me giving 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 and you taking 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 that's not going to happen it's like this you give one i give one and then they'll be like wow well, first i used to give one and the person used to give 100 and now you're saying this oh you have changed and you have to say yes i have changed i had to change to put you straight to put you right okay my dear pisces in the third week you need to get out some toxic people out of your inner circles out of your friend circles also those people who benefit upon you are not your friends friends will never the true friends will never take undue advantage of your kindness my dear pisces those people who just come to you when they have work you have to know these are opportunists and you have to put limits to all that being kind is one thing but being uh, too much available is another thing also don't get burnt out in the third week because these kind of things are going to happen and there you might feel a bit sad there you might feel like quarreling getting into an argument or feeling like a martyr but at that time you have to know that you have given that habit to them to take you for granted and now you have to stop that my dear pisces so in the third week please take care because there is going to be lot of conflicting energy there is going to be uh, again some people are going to provoke you and this is going to somehow work on your well-being your morale 
all right so over here you have to take care my dear Pisces is that you don't become a victim of self-pity you're very strong you don't need to get into self-pity you just have to put your boundaries your lines and you say okay you don't cross that now you stay there you know Ramayana how it has happened because of the boundaries being you know People have crossed the boundaries. I mean, you know, say set boundaries and respect those boundaries, my dear Pisces, in the third week. Otherwise, you are going to be taken into the spiral of negativity and we just don't want that. We have a lot of things to do and to achieve. Right, my dear Pisces? So in the third week, just take care of your own morale. Spread, spend more and more time meditating. Spend more time with your pets if you have pets. Do some gardening work. Do some kind of things with nature, you know, because that is going to resource you in the third week. And you will be able to pass through this third week in a very good way uh, because of your spiritual strength that will help you uh, to understand, to see uh, what is the truth uh, in front of you in the third week. It can be a jealous colleague who just wants to, you know, push your limits and uh, try to annoy you and then try to show you that, see, finally it was the Piscean. Because the one who speaks, the, the words are heard, but the one who is doing very quietly, the words are not seen. But just the result is that we are screaming, what have you done? Or we are reacting. So this is where you need to be careful, my dear Pisces, in the third week. And then we go to the fourth week. And the fourth week is a beautiful week. The fourth week is all about socializing. Pisces is going to be the busy bee. It's going to be the party animal in the last week. It's going to go around. There's a lot of things to do. A lot of people you're meeting online, offline. Things are going on. There's a lot of speaking happening. Uh, in your uh, in your inner circles, there is a lot of communication, there is a lot of texting happening. You are attending some seminars, you are attending some classes. You are, uh, maybe you are planning for some kind of workshops that you're giving also in the last week of uh, this month of April, my dear Pisces. And I'm seeing that you're making a lot of new friends. And again, over here, you need to take care, my dear Pisces, is that you don't have to trust everyone immediately. Your kind heart wants to trust. Be very trusting because you, you know, your innocence, you will trust. But then you don't have to trust everyone immediately. Otherwise, then you know what happens and you know what has happened in your lives also. I will not even get into that, but you know it because you have experienced it. So trying, testing and then trusting. Okay, try it. Test it and then trust it. Otherwise, no, not immediately. Don't open up yourself in front of complete strangers who are showing that they are very kind. Wait a bit. Take your time. Take months before uh, you really, really, you know, get somebody into your inner circle or into that trust box that you get uh, them into, my dear Pisces. So in the last week, a lot of friends are there, a lot of new ones are there. However, be cautious that there are no wolves in with the sheep cloaks okay this is what i would like to say but otherwise i see it's a very very positive last week where uh, you might really enjoy yourself on the social uh, platforms or uh, you know in the social life you will it will be quite rich and there are lots of things that you are doing and and it's going to keep you really upbeat and that energy is going to be really, really good. Uh, this is what I feel. So my dear Pisces, this is going to be the month of April. And as I have said, uh, sorry, because I've been saying a lot of things around each energy because I felt like I had to say that uh, in order to prepare uh, you all. And maybe for other signs, I might not spend that much of time in a reading. Uh, depends upon how the energies are that I really spend time on the readings and here as I see that um, the first and the third week is quite um, I would say something that will play a bit you know with the nerves or with the emotions of the Pisces there we need to be careful but otherwise I know that Pisces have now learned to swim in rough waters too so no problem here we are going to really really 
in our, in our stride we are going to take it, right, my dear Pisces? So nothing to worry about. Just that, you know, no reaction is also a reaction. Remember that, okay? So thank you for listening. Please do like, share and comment. And I shall see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye. God bless.